Okay, I greet everyone in the beautiful name of Jesus Christ. Today is Ascension Day. Can you believe it? 2,000 years ago, roughly 2,000 years ago, on this very day, Jesus ascended into heaven to be with God the Father. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Isn't it wonderful? Huh? Jesus died on that cross, rose again from the dead three days later, and then he spent another 40 days here on earth preaching the gospel, proclaiming the good news that he's now victorious, he's fulfilled the mandate that was given to him, the mission to give us redemption, to make reconciliation for iniquity. Just as Daniel the prophet prophesied, to make reconciliation for inequity, not for himself, but for us. He was the Lamb of God slain from the very foundation of the world. Prophesied hundreds of years in advance when Jesus would be born in the time, uh, in like a roughly uh, 70 to 80 year time period. Jesus was born in that time, 80, 70 to 80 year time period. He was crucified in that time period, resurrected. And 40 days later, after his resurrection, he ascended to be with the Father in heaven, victorious. He's forever a victorious king. And he keeps giving us victory after victory, as long as we stay faithful to the word of God. When we get it wrong, we repent. God works all things together for good for those that love him and are called according to his purpose. And are walking according to the Holy Spirit, the Word of God, and not the flesh. In Jesus' name. John chapter 20 verse 17. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. After Jesus was resurrected, the, I'm sure the people wanted to like, grab him and hug him. and <laughs> You know, and he says, No, hang on. Don't hold on to me. I've not ascended to the Father yet. Go and tell the brothers about the good news. Acts chapter 1, verse 10 to 11. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, Why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way. You have seen him go into heaven. Jesus ascended into heaven in power and glory. He was clothed in victory, power, glory, majesty. He's just a, he's a majestic, conquering, victorious king to the glory of the Father. After he said this, in Acts chapter 1 verse 9, After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid them from his sight. Jesus ascended, man. It was just power. You know? Just in clothing power, man. Just, <laughs> you know? No rocket boosters necessary. The power of God into heaven. 1 Timothy 3.16 Beyond all question, the mystery from which true godliness springs is great. He appeared in the flesh, was vindicated by the Spirit, was seen by angels, was preached among the nations, and still preached among the nations, was believed on in the world, was taken up in glory. The true gospel of Jesus Christ is still getting preached, and praise God for that. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we thank you in Jesus' name that just over 2,000 years ago, can you believe it? The Lord Jesus Christ, God the Son, one with you, Heavenly Father, the Father God, the Almighty, who sent your Son to be a propitiation, the price for all our wrongs, so that whoever believes in their heart and confesses with their mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, that you have the gift of eternal life. It's something you have to take a step of faith out and say, Jesus, I believe in you. Come into my heart. 
set me free from the ropes and chains of demonic strongholds in your life. And turn to the Lord and walk with Jesus and see your life blossom. Stay faithful and the anointing will stay on your life. As long as the anointing is there, you stay strong. You stay healthy. But it's not easy to keep the anointing on our life. Even when you're walking with Jesus, you still have to do your prayer and fasting. There's no getting around that. And the conduct of the Word of God. Jesus Christ is the living bread. You need to eat proper food. Eat proper teachings. Jesus is the living waters. As a drink from the living waters shall never thirst again. Without Jesus, there's no peace and joy in your heart. A man or a woman cannot get peace and joy in their heart without being reconciled to God the Father by the blood and redemption power of Jesus Christ. Well, that's it, guys. 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ ascended into heaven. hard to even imagine imagine walking with Jesus talking with Jesus and he goes up into heaven I'm going to be with my father now guys I commissioned you go go tell the world go tell everybody the good news of my of the gospel of Jesus Christ sure We intend changing the world with the gospel, with the word of God. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen.